Hey guys, this is Hetu, and today we will uh, take a look how can we install MySQL uh, MySQL uh, database, right? Uh, so let's follow the step by step procedure. Uh, so first, go to Google and type MySQL. You will be see you can see here the official website of MySQL, right? And then you go to download. Once you go to download, scroll down you can see something uh, mysql community download so click on this and then you will see here mysql installer for window so windows and then you can see this mysql installer this is the latest version right now actually you have uh, two msi installer so you choose the the second one which is having bigger size this one and guys this works for 32 bit and 64 both alright so uh, don't worry if you are looking for 64 so the same my installer will work for that as well so click on download right and uh, you can just say no thanks and just uh, start my download right so here you can say no start my download but I will not do that here I'll just cancel it because I have already done it before but for you you can do it so I have done uh, some time before here so I will directly go to that installer and then um, it is here so what we will do we will uh, start uh, installing the MySQL now so double click then prepare to install now you can um, let's see it here right all right so it's asking me to accept it now it's it will be quick enough but uh, yeah it will take some time at least right now you see the installer is basically installing it now here what we have to do is on this page we have to actually choose custom because we need to actually install certain component right what are the components so we actually have to choose for uh, sql server then we have to go for uh, ui where we actually run all our queries so this will be sql workbench now for this one you actually select this and then uh, click on the arrow it will be added to the right hand side similarly for this um, workbench as well just click on this it will be added here now you also have to choose a shell right shell and again select it now three components sql server workbench and sql mysql shell right so all three and then now you say next now execute it will start installing give some time here so guys the installation is complete usually the mysql shell will take a little uh, time but then yeah uh, it will be fairly quick enough right now say next and then again ready to configure all right now you see that this 3306 this port is saying it's busy actually for me what i can do is basically for this um, I, I don't have i am not getting this next bo next button right it's showing me gray so what i will do is for you if you're installing first time i think you will not get this problem you will be getting this uh, button enabled for me what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this uh, particular uh, port uh, for mysql so i have another app which is called jam right so this jam where i will get the uh, things to configure it here right so you see it's basically running on 3307 so i don't need to configure anything which means i can actually directly go and then i can just change the port here to 7 all right uh, is it also some problem let's see 8 ah okay also in use basically guys so what i can do is let me do one thing let me change it to port 3308 okay because i have done uh, at least two times installation so what i will go i will change because this um, it's running on 337 as well so what i'll go i'll just go and change the port uh, in uh, just click on ini file and you go to my ini file and then you just search it 3307 
so you change it to 8 now one more instance I think here also you have to change it to 8 okay now just search we have anything else no we don't have anything else now you save this file yeah this is done now let's go to this one again what we will do is we will configure it here and uh, we will see uh, all right where is my SQL main port probably I need to just change it to 8 all right cannot create INI access is denied okay fine I think uh, let's see let it be like this okay it's changed yeah so let it be let's INI file I already changed into INI file right so that's fine I think actually what I will do is I just need to mm, okay I just need to start nothing okay what we will do is we will actually go to go uh, I'll close this file actually uh, uh, don't save it I'll directly go and then uh, continue with my installation guys okay so this is enabled now I'll say for you there will not be any problem you will be seeing 3306 yeah but in case you find any problem we can re resolve in the class yeah all right now we'll see this I will just put a password maybe I'll say admin at the rate 123 you have to put little bit of a strong password because that's recommended here 143 now I'll say okay fine there is nothing just say next next and next execute yeah now let's wait for the installation to complete guys all right so jam help basically to uh, give me a free port right uh, for my sql that i can use now just uh, give a few minutes okay perfect this is done now it's quick now i'll say uh, finish i'll say next nothing so it is saying that installation is complete now you can actually start mysql workbench so mysql workbench basically guys that we will be using for writing or query it's basically ui uh, right uh, where basically we will be writing all the query to interact so it's a client for us right and then you have the mysql shell where uh, we can actually write some commands etc right but then for now let's uh, finish it and it will launch launch uh, both of these products right both of these um, component right so you see here it's basically launched now you can see it's basically saying so this is the one that we actually uh, put this is port now if uh, I just want to connect to this particular database I just say admin at the rate 143 I can probably save it here as well right now I'm able to connect it here right so this is the this is done installation is done now what I will do is I will also have to do uh, one more thing here guys okay so I just want to uh, check uh, whether my installation is completed uh, in my command prompt so I'll just uh, go here I'll just type CMD right that's what I did oh sorry not XMD CMD guys okay all right so I'm um, the moment you say CMD you will get to this prompt now you can just uh, check whether the MySQL is installed so you say type MySQL space hyphen hyphen then version we will see if there is version right so it says that version uh, 8.0.36 this is the version that we installed right now this is the version that we are already installed now what I will do is um, let's see if we are able to connect right so my sql hyphen u and user is so minus hyphen u and then give the username which is root basically and then give a password so password is basically admin at the right one four three okay probably i have to just say and in the next line i'll put password here yeah now i'll say admin at the right one four three now if you see uh, what's is there any problem uh, using password mm. all right uh, is it something that I need 
to probably I need to let me see if I need to put this path I think right in environment variable so if I go to C and if I go to program so this is the one thing that I have to also uh, put make sure the environment variable is configured right now if I go here and if I say my SQL where is that guys uh, program file my SQL I am not able to see let's see here here right my SQL perfect I am here and then if I go to server and then if I go to bin I'll take this complete path guys okay and I will just copy it and I'll just type env here and then it will open up the environment variable this page where I'll go to system variable and then I will just click on this path right double click and then I will add this particular path here right so that environment variable is set uh, it's already there right so we have actually done it before even so this is same thing right so let me delete one probably I'll delete that previous one this is fine now this is done perfect so this is already done uh, user denied uh, root let me see what's the problem right because I have actually used it let me uh, let me quickly come out basically and see what's the problem right mm, here I don't want to keep it open for now so let's try one thing let me let me go there and I'll say CMD again Oops. although it's open <laughs> okay so if I say my SQL minus U and then I say root uh, no it's not working what I will say root minus P so user and password so for password it will ask me the next line so add min at the rate 143 this is what I entered there is some problem guys it is is it because of uh, maybe because of um, because of previous installation maybe I'll find out but for you you should be actually able to connect it here yeah uh, let me try one more time yeah is it something let's see it's not working okay I uh, will figure it out but for you you should be able to connect and then you will be getting the my SQL prompt I'll figure it out my SQL prompt and then actually you can write uh, write your query but make sure uh, once you are done with the installation you get all these components so when you actually search um, all the you know what all the uh, component that you have installed you will be getting my SQL I would say let's go to setting and see that we have everything that we wanted right so let's go here we will search we'll go to app again in app installed app this is for uh, Windows 10 guys maybe for 11 as well but yes uh, so if I search my SQL I should be getting three four component at least right my SQL my SQL four component right so installer uh, which is already um, we kept it and then mysql server mysql shell and workbench right we will mostly working on the workbench right and uh, you do this installation and then remaining things we will uh, take a look right uh, so this is what I wanted to you know make sure that you guys do this installation right and uh, let me let me actually show you um, SQL workbench as well I just want to launch it SQL workbench why it's not showing me here okay let me let me launch it here workbench right yeah it's there just double click on this once you install it will be shown it uh, here right now if I can just uh, I, so this is the one that we installed right this is the old one for me actually so okay fine we are able to launch because I saved the password last time now uh, so what we will do is we can actually write uh, we can actually see uh, what all the 
databases we have right so schema probably will go to schema so this is the sys schema right which is by default there right now uh, we will not uh, touch this particular schema rather we will create a new basically database so how do we create a new database we can simply say create database okay we will say etl qa labs db perfect database now we will just run this particular query select it and uh, run it so one row affected which means the new database is created if i just go and refresh this say refresh all i see this new database right we have new database now within this database we can create tables view etc that we will look into it right so that is the uh, thing right so you make sure you have installed mysql uh, server mysql workbench follow the steps guys there will not be any problem right you might face some problem with the port and then we can resolve it later but then if you are installing it first time you will not uh, face any problem right uh, even for connecting to the database um, this is the way how you actually you can check the version version is there is no problem with the version only thing is i'm not able to connect somehow here uh, but then you should be able to connect it and then you can actually do everything on this command prompt as well what actually we are doing here in ui but ui is much preferred because uh, in real companies you will be getting this ui right that's where you will be doing all these things we will uh, go one step by step guys here i think it's a uh, uh, it's uh, you know first day so you can just uh, try to install this and we'll see the remaining yeah all right then uh, hope this video is helpful and um, uh, yeah see you in the next video until then uh, bye and god bless you